Hi everyone, it's Miss Bathgate. I hope you have all had a lovely half term. So this week I'm going to record this video to help you with your PSHE task, which is all about speaking and listening. So if we were at school, this is what we would be doing. So I thought it would be nice over the next few weeks or however long we're going to be doing these home learning videos for to record a video to help you with that. OK, so I'm going to take you through the PowerPoint. There's going to be some questions to consider and, and a game that we can do together. And then I will explain your PSHE task for this week. OK, so. Our walk today is to be a good listener. Can you say that? Be a good listener. So to be a good listener, we need to remember to be looking with our eyes, listening with our ears and focusing our brains. OK, so our success criteria for this uh, home learning video is I can explain how to be a good listener. I can explain why good listening is important and I can have a go at my PSHE speaking and listening task. So pause the video and have a chat with a grown up about what it is I would like you to achieve by the end of this video. OK, so. Miss Bathgate asks you, why is it important to listen to other people? Pause the video, talk to a grown up. Why is it important to listen to other people? The next question is, how can I be a good listener? Pause the video, discuss the, that question. So we're thinking about why it is important to, to listen to others, but also how we can do that and how we can be a good listener. So to start off, we're going to play a listening game. OK, and it's called Traffic Lights and we love this game. We play it in PE sometimes. So obviously we're not walking around a classroom, but you can walk around somewhere in your house and listen to my instructions. OK, so if I say green, you should jump on the spot. If I say amber, you should jog on the spot. And if I say red, you should stop and stand very still. OK, so if I say green, you should jump. If I say amber, you should jog. And if I say red, you should stand very still. So pause the video and have a think about those three three things I'm going to be saying to you so you know what to do. Because this is a listening game, you need to be listening. OK, now I, I would probably say you should walk rather than run because we don't want to hurt ourselves. OK, and this is on the spot. So you're not running around the house, you're doing it on the spot. So jumping on the spot, jogging on the spot or standing very still. So I might say these words in any order. So you must listen very carefully to my instructions. So are we ready? Here we go. Ready, steady, go. I'm going to say green, red, green, amber, red, green, amber, red, amber, green, red. So we're going to stop there. Well done for playing my listening game. So what do we learn from my listening game? Have a little think about that with a grown up. What did you learn? Was it easy to listen to those instructions or did you find them a little bit tricky? How did you know what you were supposed to do in the game today? Well, we spoke about that, didn't we? I explained the instructions and what those words meant. And how did you know to change what you were doing? So did you maybe struggle when I said green? Did you do what the amber said to do? So instead of um, 
let's go back and have a think about what it said. Instead of jumping on the spot, did you jog when I said um, green? Or did you remember the difference between the two? Have a little chat about that. So when we're thinking about listening, obviously if we're sitting on a carpet at school, we do do this, but it's important to do throughout our life, wherever we are, whether at, we are at home, whether we are on an outing, whether we're at school, we need to be good listeners. So we need to have ears that are listening, eyes that are looking, lips that are closed, hands that are calm, and that means they're just calm, not busy, and feet that are still. So a few little discussions you can have with a grown-up. So at the moment you are at home, so you should be listening to your grown-ups, whoever that may be. Okay, so I want you to think think to yourself about this question. Why do your parents or your trusted grown-up, whoever that is, want you to listen? Why do they want you to listen to them? Have a little chat about that. So I think they want you to listen because they care about you. And if they ask you to do something and you don't do it, how do you think that's going to make them feel? I think frustrated, sad and upset, and a little bit grumpy. Because if somebody didn't listen to you and you really wanted them to listen to you, think about how you would feel. So think about that, why your, your grown-up wants you to listen to you. Because they care. Okay, so it's important to listen. Next one. So we're thinking about this at school, but also I was thinking if you had a sibling. Why do your friends or siblings feel, oh, sorry, that was wrong. How do your friends feel when you listen to them? So how do they feel? Look at this picture here. How do you think these two friends are feeling? Because they are listening to each other. They are taking it in turns to speak and they are listening. Have a chat with a grown up. How are they feeling? I think they are feeling happy because they are both listening to each other and they are taking it in turns. So the big questions. Why is it important to listen to other people? We've thought about that. How can I be a good listener? We've thought about those key aspects of listening. Can you give your actions to you for your answers? Do you think you do understand those questions? Or you're not sure, or you don't know? Have a think. And this is a good question. Have your answers changed since the beginning of our lesson? And why? So at the beginning, did you think, oh, I think I'm a really good listener. And actually now I think, oh, I need to improve on that a little bit. You might think, oh, I can do this to help me become a better listener. So thank you for listening to that little lesson today. I hope it's going to help you with your task this week, which looks like this. So your walk is to speak and listen. This term, our new core learning skill focus, is all about speaking and listening. Pick a card below and take it in turns to speak to a trusted grown up about each topic. And this little blue bit is the video right now. So I want you to pick one of these or as many as you like and talk for a minute and your grown up will help you understand what that is. And I might be able to time you, see if you can do it super speedy about this topic. So you talk for a minute about food, animals, traveling. So if you go on holiday, a memory, parties, stories and toys. And what I want you to do is take it in turns with somebody you trust to talk about that topic because it's really important that you are taking it in turns and you are speaking and you are listening. So I hope that has helped you. I hope you have fun with your speaking and listening and I will see you very soon. Bye you one.